everyone i wanted to share a quick dollar tree and cvs haul um with you that i did last week it's nothing too coupony or anything but we'll start off with the dollar tree so i did pick up two of these pack of 75 little um diaper disposable bags i thought this was, thought this was a really good um deal for a dollar get 75 of those little baggies and since i started babysitting i thought this would come in handy since it's only like one day a week instead of me throwing the uh, diapers in in our big trash and wasting the whole bag because then i have to take it out right after the baby leaves so it doesn't smell i thought i'd just pick this up for a dollar versus wasting my really good trash bags my expensive ones so Yes, this, this was awesome. So I, I grabbed two of these. The other one I did put in the, the uh, baby's diaper bag. So that way if the mom, you know, the baby goes somewhere else for babysitting and stuff, um, whoever takes care of them, they can use that uh, those bags or the mom can just use it like if she's at a grocery store somewhere in the park or something like that. She can have a bag to put them uh, the dirty diapers in. So that I thought was a good deal. <clears throat> Another thing see along the baby side of things I just thought that since he doesn't have um, a whole lot of toys or anything that he's like two months old but he doesn't really have anything to play with I guess especially you know at my my house since I don't have any kids but um so I picked up two little toys so I'll show you this one first. It's the Sesame Street Beginners. It's a little teething ring. And you put this in the fridge or the freezer or whatever. And, um, you know, it'll be cold. So when he does start teething. But I just thought it would be cute. Something for him to play with. Um, this one as well. I gave him to him yesterday. So that's why I just saved the package for you guys. This one's a, a, a little teether that you can put in the freezer or the fridge. This one, let me show you, let me clean it off. So that rattles, and then this just moves if he plays with it. So I thought this one um was was good, something to distract him with. And <clears throat> I had been looking at other people's hauls, so. Everyone, I guess, was saying that this is really pigmented. This Milani. Let me see. Crystal lip gloss. Let me see if this one has a name. Raspberry icing. Just... Which is like a vibrant pink. Um, pinkish purple. So, let's see. I've been waiting to open these, so I might as well do it now and see what I think about it. Now, I did pick up those other um, big diamond or crystal lip glosses, whatever those are, but the lar la large ones. Um, I picked up every color of those for my Christmas gifts that I give to the girls at work. So I haven't swatched those, but this one would be for me. And I just wanted something that was like pigmented. Oh, this is nice. Nice and smooth with a vanilla uh, scent. So that's nice. Probably won't last that long, but it, it is nice. Smells good. It is a uh, glittery. It's nice. So that was good for a dollar. Something grand. Just throw it in your small little um, purse, pocketbook, or whatever. <clears throat> the next thing that I got that I just ripped up before showing you guys is this LA Colors um, lip gloss. And... I did pick up this color. This is that coralish color. So Coral Crush. So 
So this one, um, I also wanted to see how pigmented this was. Oh, this is a nice... A nice sheer, yet still, uh, still pigmented. And of course, tastes like bubble gum. Really smells like it doesn't, definitely don't taste like it. <laughs> also, another thing that I had been seeing reviews on, and people hauling this, are these, um, Lip, LA Colors Lip Glosses, the Gloss and Shines. Now these, I'm not sure if this was comparable to the LA Girl uh, lip glosses. But um, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see how pigmented these were. And if these are really pigmented, I might pick these up um, for the girls at work. As well as my sister, sister-in-laws and my mom. This one is luscious. Oh no. No, I don't know what it is. I guess they're both luscious. Whatever. So this one's the purple one. It's this one right there on the end. And this one also smells like vanilla. And this one is the a coral color. I just want to compare these. So yeah, this is pretty pigmented. Um, I want to see if I shear this out. Still pretty pigmented, so. A little sticky, but it's okay. So. So those are, were good buys there. Um, also, along the makeup side, I picked up three of these e.l.f. blending eye brushes because I don't have any. So I thought these would be really good since I've been <laughs> working on my eyeshadow um, techniques and, and stuff like that. I'm not too... Um, too good at it, but I'm trying. Doesn't really matter anyways since I wear glasses. Nobody can see my makeup anyways. So, but I am, uh, you know, trying to get that cool eye look down that's been trendy. So I'm excited about those. Also, something else that I picked up was this Happy Birthday Candles. Um, it's one of our doctor's birthdays uh, at the end of this month and I did a trial trial run and thought it was early so what I'm gonna make her for her birthday I had already made and gave it to her and shared with the office so for her birthday I will put these on there and make the same thing again and she's gonna be able to take it home so but at least everyone can sing her happy birthday and at least feel special on that day so that is it for my uh, Dollar Tree haul and this is my quick little CVS haul which is basically just nail polish because I am still hooked on this nail polish stuff um, so the first deal that I did was the Sally Hansen deal where you buy uh, $10 worth and get $5 back well I Use a two dollar off uh, Sally Hansen coupon, uh, manufacturer coupon, and um, this was six forty nine. This um, was three forty nine. This 
blue boom and then this crackle one is what is it black on so that came out to right under uh ten dollars so it did print out the five dollars extra care book and like i said i had the two dollar manufacturer coupon and so i used a seven dollar extra care book and paid only like i don't know two dollars or something like that um anyways so this was awesome and then i did the oh let me see one more color hold on let me go get the other color so i i, I uh, purchased six spoiled nail polishes ones that i or, um didn't have yet so i picked up these two This one's a purple. The pink glittery one. It's like a pink purple. A little bit of blue in there. And that one is Battle of the Sexes. Which is really, really pretty. This one here is like a purple with a few sparkles um, of glitter in there. It looks like it's a really, really deep purple, but when I actually use it, it's super sheer. So that's kind of a bummer, but I can do some gradients with that. And this one is called Checking Into Rehab. Maybe I already have that one. <laughs> that one sounds so familiar. Which would be a bummer because now I have two of the same ones that are sheer. This one I did pick up, which is very small glitter. Just like that pink one I just showed you. This is a blue with a little bit of purple pink. It's very, very pretty. Let's see. My Saturn broke down. So that's going to be cute. The next are three chunky glitters. This one's a red, black, and silver. I thought that'd be okay for, for like a Christmas. Uh, shuffle the deck. This one is a silver, blue, and turquoise. Pet my peacock. I don't think I have this one yet. I thought that was cute. And this one's a smaller glitter than the others. Those are chunky glitters. This one is a smaller one. And the last one that I got. This one is a gold, a purple, and a blue, and black. Trust fun baby. So I thought those were pretty. And those were buy one get one half off. And if you buy four or more, they're $1.75 each. So, so I ended up paying a whole bunch of maybe like $2 or something. Because I used the $5 in extra care books that I got back from the Sally Hansen deal. Towards this, um, so it's be $1.75. She took 80 cents off. 175, 80 cents off. Uh, which was 80 cents, 80 cents. 175 and 80.